Hi, this is Johnny Farty Pants, and I'm going to be showing you how to use US Downloader. It's a free application for downloading files from RapidShare.com and well over 100 other file hosting websites. You can download US Downloader from JohnnyFartyPants.com. Free stuff, software. Page 3, and this is it here. You can click on the image to download US Downloader from uploading.com or click the hyperlink here to download it from easyshare.com. And when you download US Downloader, this is what you'll download here US Downloader Portable dot RAR. It's 13.4 megabytes, and you need to extract that. And when you unrar US Downloader Portable, this is what you'll get. US Downloader Portable folder. Inside the folder are all the files and all the settings that US Downloader needs to run. It's a completely portable application and it will run from any location on your computer, including a USB flash drive if you wanted to take it with you and, and run it on somebody else's computer. This is the main EXE here. I'll just run this. And this is the main user interface for US Downloader. By default, it opens up in English, uh, but it supports quite a few other languages. If you would like to use a different language with US Downloader, you click this blue button here and select your language. As you can see, there's quite a few in here, Ukrainian, Spanish, Slovak, Polish, Russian, Arabic, Bulgarian. But we'll just keep it on English. And the next thing you should really do before starting to download files using US Downloader is to update it. To do this, you click the little green button here, select the update option on the left, select any of the seven different update servers and click update now. There's no updates available right now. Uh, US Downloader does receive uh, different types of updates. It receives .plg files, which are plug-in files. This is what enables US Downloader to recognize and download from different file hosting websites. And it also updates the main application, the US Downloader.exe. Uh, that gets updated on a, a fairly regular basis as well. And the last thing you should do with US Downloader uh, before starting to actually download files is to set up the default downloads folder to tell US Downloader where to actually put the files that you're downloading. For this video, I'm just going to create a folder on my desktop called Downloads and this is where I'm going to put all my files. Uh, to set this up as my default downloads folder, click the green button, MISC for miscellaneous, and down here, default download folder. Just click that button there to browse to the folder that you want, and then OK, apply, OK. And when you reach this point, uh, you're now ready to start downloading files using US Downloader. Now what I've done is I've uploaded uh, a file, the same file, to two of the most common, commonly used file hosting websites. There's uploading.com and there's rapidshare.com. To add these links to US Downloader, uh, it's very simple, there's two methods. You can highlight it, copy it, and US Downloader should recognize it as being a link that it can download from. The other method is to highlight and copy and if US Downloader doesn't recognize it instantly you just hit the little plus symbol here and then OK and US Downloader adds that file to the queue of files to be downloaded. As you can see there's a little green light 
next to the uploading.com link and, and down the bottom of the screen here uh, there's a little uh, timer counting down that's at 55 seconds right now uh, US Downloader basically does everything automatically um, anybody that's ever used uploading.com will know that uploading.com uh, employs one of these capture systems uh, that it, it displays an image uh, uploading.com shows you an image, it may be a word or a serial number all distorted and stuff and you have to type uh, that serial number or that word into a little box uh, US Downloader does that for you, you don't actually have to go near the website which is a, a great little feature and here we go, it started downloading from US Downloader Uh, US Downloader is very customizable. Uh, you've got lots and lots of options in here. Uh, some of them you may use, some of them you probably will never use. Uh, as you can see, you've got a list of different stuff here the proxy settings, socks, uh, general settings for bandwidth use, and things like that. Uh, sounds this is quite a cool little feature. You can add your own sounds to the features, uh, like when something starts downloading, you can add your own sound, sound files. Uh, all the, the sound files are, are stored in a folder inside US Downloader and they're all in WAV format and you could add in basically anything that you want in any sound effect or, or piece of music uh, I'm sure you can have fun with that there's a miscellaneous options we used earlier to set up the downloads and a few other options there's the plugins section here that's the file almost downloaded there we go, the file has now been downloaded successfully and now it started with the rapidshare.com link uh, update again, there's seven servers here uh, you can add more update servers to that uh, the way you do that is use the link here at the top of the, the main application to uh, the manufacturer's website, it's in Russian so you'll, unless you speak Russian you'll have to translate it uh, but basically, I, I, I check it about once a month uh, and check to see if there's any new update servers and it gives you very easy to follow instructions on how to add these update servers to your list. And web server, if you have a access to a web server, you US Downloader will recognise it and work in companionship with it. Now it started downloading the RapidShare link and that's the download complete and that's how you use US Downloader uh, one of the many many things that I like about US Downloader is that if you were downloading 12 or 15 or, or whatever amount of uh, links from one file hosting website like RapidShare you know if you were downloading a film or an operating system uh, you would feed all of the links into US Downloader and it would download the first one with no problems now sites like RapidShare try to restrict how many files you can download in a specific uh, amount of time and, and regular users to websites like RapidShare will probably have seen this screen that comes up uh, cannot download please wait 13 minutes or something like that and it will keep trying to access these files until it, it gets access and can download them so if you were downloading 12 links from RapidShare instead of downloading them all individually and waiting uh, until you can get access to them just feed them into US Downloader and it'll do the rest of the work it'll download them, it'll keep trying to access it if RapidShare tries to keep it out it's a very very cool, very handy little application uh, and it's completely free and that's basically it I hope you have fun downloading files from RapidShare.com and, and all the other file hosting websites and thanks for watching my video.